Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be mounting this five gallon gas can from Wavy in USA in my pickup bed. Super excited to finally have extra fuel on board with me. But before we get to that, we got some big news. The Bubba Rope giveaway has officially ended and the winner of this awesome 30 foot recovery rope is Scott Hoover. So, Scott, this was the winning comment. If you see this, shoot me an email at campbellzr2 at gmail.com so I can get this rope mailed out to you. So we're gonna get start started on uh, part two of storage solutions in my bed. Today, what we're gonna be doing is mounting another toolbox right next to the one I have. So I have that one installed there for all my tools. Now I'm gonna put another one next to it for all my recovery gear. All right, there we go. If you wanna see how to install that, go check out my last video. I'll link that up in the corner right here. Um, I did a full install for the first one that I put there, so you can see that for that one. Now we will get on with the gas tank. Alright, so as soon as I got the truck, I was thinking about how to mount the fuel can. You always want to have extra fuel. It's good to have. Roto packs have almost dominated the market with this. They have mounts for overland racks. They have mounts for spare tires on Jeeps, but they don't have any mounts for the ZR2. 589 Fabrication actually made one. Um, so they make a mount that mounts to the side of the pickup bed where you can mount a roto pack onto the side. Um, I guess I just had a bad experience with my swing case break, ripping off the side. Um, I wanted to have at least a couple gallons of fuel and I didn't ever want to see coming down from a, uh, a jump hard and uh, ripping that ripping that roto packs out the side of the pickup bed. So. I decided not to go that way and uh, I finally saw the idea that I wanted to go with uh, when I watched this video here from the Ultimate Adventure 2019. So they actually mounted these fuel cans from Wavian inside of a Jeep JL and I was like hey you know if they mounted this inside of a Jeep and it was it didn't it didn't leak fumes it didn't make the the whole Jeep smell like gasoline that's gotta be a pretty high quality fuel can. I should go check them out. So I did. The company is called Wavian USA and they make this really high quality metal jerry can. It holds 20 liters or 5.3 gallons. And what's even better than them making a really awesome jerry can is this really awesome mount that they make to go with it. So this is their heavy duty front loading jerry can mount. And you can see it has four mounting holes at the bottom. It has four mounting holes on the back. And this is how it latches. So it opens on the front side like that. The gas can fits right in here. And it actually has rubber pads so that this isn't gonna rattle. On, on all the sides and the front, it's got rubber pads that are on this gas can. So now this comes over the top. You hook this latch and just like that, now that is locked in place. So I'm super excited to get this mounted. One of the things that I kind of saw coming was that the pickup bed on the ZR2, the front of it, I'm going to mount it right next to my spare tire and you have your front of the bed and then a little pop out where the top of the pickup bed is. And this is too tall to sit under that pop out. So. I'm probably gonna find a permanent solution with metal um, eventually, but for right now I just have this two by six. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna act just as like a spacer so that this will mount flush against the front of the pickup bed. And then where the, the top dips in will sit right in here. And this is how I'm gonna mount those, those holes onto the pickup bed. So I'll probably eventually get a metal one, but this two by six will work well for now. All right, so I actually ended up needing a second spacer because of uh, 
how big this lip is it wasn't the the one board wasn't quite enough and sure enough now that i have two spacers my bolt's not long enough so i just bought these and now i get to go buy new ones all right so since it's so windy today i don't think the uh the audio is going to be very good if i talk through everything i'm doing so I'm just going to play some music in the background. I'll let you watch what I'm doing. And if you have any questions about any of the steps, ask in the comments below. It's going to be pretty self-explanatory, just making uh, this work as a spacer, getting it set up where I want it, and bolting it in. All right, guys, it's done. So I got it all cinched down, all bolted in, and this is how easy this is. Unlatches at the top, and comes out. So I had uh, one of these bolts isn't lining quite, lining up quite right with the uh, the hole that I drilled in the wood. So right now I just have those three in it, but even just there, it's plenty strong. I don't want to use that wood forever, so I'll eventually get a, a 3D printed spacer or metal or something to replace that wood there. But I got two bolts in the floor and three in the back, and this thing is going nowhere. Like I said, it's got all these rubber pads on it, so this doesn't rattle at all <laughs> as it rattles its way in. But no, once uh, this latch system here, once you get it hooked, in. 
mean, I am I am much happier with this than I would have been with mounting a, a two or three gallon pump deck. So I got five gallons of gas with me everywhere I go now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Stay tuned for another video.